Subtraction Subtraction without borrowing Let us first learn subtraction without borrowing. Step 1 In the given two numbers, find out which is greater and which is smaller. Step 2 Arrange the numbers in a column putting the greater number on the top and the smaller number below that. Step 3 Subtract ones from ones, tens from tens, hundreds from hundreds and finally thousands from the thousands below. Let us see an example. Subtract 4521 from 6852. 6852 is the greater number. Arrange them in a column one below the other. Now start subtracting. Subtracting ones. Two ones minus one ones is equal to one one. We write one under the ones column. Subtracting tens. Five tens minus two tens is equal to three tens. We write three under the tens column. Subtracting hundreds. Eight hundreds minus five hundreds is equal to three hundreds. We write three under the hundreds column. Subtracting thousands. Six thousands minus four thousands is equal to two thousands. We write two under the thousands column. Thus, 6852 minus 4521 is equal to 2331. Example 2. Find the difference between 4061 and 4572. Here, both the given numbers have the same four digits. Their digits at the thousands place are the same. So, find out the greater number by comparing the hundredth place. 5 is greater than 0. So, 4572 is greater than 4061. Now, arrange them in a column. Subtract 1's. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. Subtract 10's. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. Subtract hundreds. 5 minus 0 is equal to 5. 4572 minus 4061 is equal to 511. Subtraction with borrowing. In the given two numbers, when the digit to be subtracted is bigger than the corresponding digit, we borrow one from the previous digit in the first number. I will explain this in an example. Take two numbers, 5852 and 3625. Arrange them in a column. Subtract the ones. Here, we cannot subtract 5 from 2 because 5 is greater than 2. In that case, we should borrow 1 from the tens of the first number, that is from 5. Now, 2 becomes 12. Now, we can deduct 5 from 12. So, 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Now, write 7 below the 1's column. Subtract the 10's. From 5, we have borrowed 1. This will reduce its value to 4. Now, deduct 2 from 4. So, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Write 2 below the 10's column. Subtract the 100's. Deduct 6 from 8. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. Write 2 below the hundreds column. 
subtract the thousands. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Write 2 below the thousands column. Thus, we get 5852 minus 3625 is equal to 2227. Word problem on subtraction. Problem 1. A shopkeeper earned Rs. 5,545 and spent Rs. 3,523 in a month. How much money was left with him? Earnings of the shopkeeper is equal to Rs. 5,545. Expenses of the shopkeeper which is equal to Rs. 3,523. Money left with him is Subtract once. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Subtract tens. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. Subtract hundreds. 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Subtract thousands. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Money left with him is rupees 2022. Let us see one more problem. Problem 2. The sum of two numbers is 6540. One of them is 2585. What is the other number? Sum of two numbers is equal to 6540. One of the numbers is equal to 2585. The other number is equal to Subtract once. You cannot subtract 5 from 0. Therefore, borrow 1 from the tens column. That is 4. 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Write 5 below the ones column. Subtract tens. Now you have only 3 left with the greater number in the tens column. You cannot subtract 8 from 3. Therefore, borrow 1 from the hundreds column. You get 13. 13 minus 8 is equal to 5. Write 5 below the tens column. Subtract hundreds. In the hundreds column of the greater number, you have only 4. You cannot deduct 5 from 4. Therefore, borrow 1 from the thousands column. Now you get 14. 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. Write 9 below the hundreds column. Now subtract thousands column. You have 5 in the thousands column of the greater number. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Write 3 below the thousands column. So, 6540 minus 2585 is equal to 3955. Word problems on addition and subtraction. Mohan had rupees 10,000 cash with him. He bought a dress for rupees 3,000 and a table for rupees 5,000. How much money is left with him? Cost of the dress is equal to 3,000. Cost of a table is equal to 5,000. Total amount spent is equal to 3,000 plus 5,000 is equal to 8,000. Money left with him is equal to 10,000 minus 8,000 which is equal to 2,000. Money left with Mohan is rupees 2,000.